Now, I, I know what you're going to be saying. Yes, I did get a haircut. Well, all of them, actually. Hello, everyone. It's me, Justin, your Eagle Skipper, here with episode 44 of the Middlesbrough portion of Journey to the Top. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But without further ado, we are coming back just a little bit early. We've got the Man United game because, my oh my, the, the top of the league table has narrowed considerably. Man City have completely fallen off. They've lost... They had a six-point gap over us, and uh, they've lost two games, and uh, we have not. You last saw us lose to Arsenal in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup, but since then, we have a 4-1 win over Everton. A Hold on, why is this not showing the Eagle Skipper schedule view? There you go, now you can see the goal scorers. 4-1 win over Everton, a 1-0 over Tottenham a uh, 2-0 over West Brom, a 6-2 with four goals coming from Boudiaf against Fulham, and a 2-1 win over Leicester. And uh, yeah, now we've got two games left in the season. One of them is Man United, who if we look at the Premier League, are sitting one point behind us with a far superior goal difference. So the only way we win this league is by winning out and Man City slipping up. We can't control what Man City does because we face uh, we face Bournemouth in the next game but we got to win today keep Man United from being in the mix and we've got to beat Man City in the next one and we've got to I don't know we need Man City to lose we need to win but it's not going to be easy because we're going up against Man United who uh, have as their key player England's number one who is probably the best goalkeeper on the planet to be completely honest with you but um we're going to be doing both that we can with our fantastic goalkeeper. He's an instinctive goalkeeper now. No longer a wonder kid. Still got some potential to fulfill. He's only 21. Johan Perez. He'll be doing all right for us. Um, but this is the team that we're going to be putting out to face Man United. And I do think this is our strongest team at the moment. Um, we've got Perez in goal. Back four of Sousa, Atasui, Sirich, and Pavel with Mr. Duckman and Montiel in midfield. Uh, ahead of them is Pombo, Gomez, and Barta. Supporting Boudiaf in attack. Um, yeah, I mean, we got several people out of position. I mean, Pumbo and Barta are both strikers. Uh, Gomez can play there pretty well. Um, Sirich is technically a wing back, though he's, he's really good as center back as well. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and get into this match. We're not going to make any changes to the way we're playing. This is the first game uh, I've played in a couple days just to uh, try to get something going from the start but uh man united's not going to be easy and we've got the added pressure of uh it being the first game of a startup so not knowing what the match engine is going to be like for us but we're going to hope to do a good job against them and i am going to show you both games today just to see how the league wraps up and we'll do a little end of season review but yeah, we're kicking off this game. I'll turn back on the sound. That way there's something going on besides my own voice. Um, and as it stands, we are ahead of Man City at the moment. What is going on in that game? Uh, but we've got Man United on the attack. They're charging forward. Angel Gomez wanting to stop the cross before it gets in. Can't quite, but Sirich gives it right back to the guy who put in the cross in the first place. They hit the post. My goodness. Um... But yeah, let's let's take a look at what is going on. <sighs> I want to see what's going on in that Man City game. Uh, but Zan Pavel, bullet throw into Boudiev. Hits it to Mr. Duckman. Mr. Duckman hits it off the post. They hit the post and it clanked free. We hit the post and it clanked in. My goodness. Yeah, this is how this is how SI uh, ruined the the freak the the, the long throws. We only threw bullet passes down. Okay, we're going to pause the game. What the heck is going on with Man City? Latest scores. Man City haven't kicked off yet. That's why. We just got one point. That's all it is. They're not losing. They haven't started playing yet. Um, but I will show this latest scores just so we can keep an eye on what's going on with Man City. Because um, we've got some match stats up here. We don't need all of them right down there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, 
but as it's going, we've got a couple yellow cards, not good to see, especially in the center back position. Who do we have that can come on in center back? We do have Di Benedito who can come on after halftime, probably uh, spelling Otasui, who's not playing particularly well and is looking, is that nervous? He's looking nervous, never good to see. But uh, Mr. Duckman wants to get it in, finds, gets it cleared out to Montiel. Sirich is out, really out of position for a center back. Montiel gets it back to Sirich. Sirich into Angel Gomez, Zan Pavel, Boudiev, Pumbo. And there's their keeper. I mean, would Perez have saved that one? Hopefully. But uh, Angel Gomez whips in the corner. The ball gets cleared, and they are on the counterattack. Uh, but Barta, perfectly timed tackle. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's, uh, let's, let's see out this game. Come on, guys. Let's end this one with a win. Zan Pavel. Throw in to Angel Gomez. Angel Gomez back to Pavel. He's charging forward, has space, kicks it out wide, gets tackled, retains possession, gets tackled again, sends it over Boudif. Montiel Gomez playing ping pong here. Stop playing ping pong, play soccer. Uh, Sirich, big ball over the top for Angel Gomez who slots it away. Are we going to do it, guys? Are we going to do it? Are we going to win the league? <laughs> I mean, we still have to rely on Man City slipping up, but we have just been in sensational form. I think at the very least, we should expect that we get uh, Champions League this year. I mean, we're on 79 points. There's no way Newcastle is catching up to us. They do have two games in hand, but there's no way they're catching up to us. There's no way. Let's go to the dressing room. Tell them media's been giving them a lot of credit. Uh, tell him you weren't bad, but you can improve. Um, happy with the playmaking. Uh, you weren't bad, but you can improve, Budiev. Yeah. So Pombo, Otasui, Susa are the ones that I'm highlighting as probably needing a rest. Uh, Otasui is probably going to come off here rather shortly. Um, just to bring on Di Benedito. He is either footed, but he's stronger on his left. And Otasui is solidly right footed. Um... We'll just get him off at the 55th minute mark. How about that? But yeah, we are outperforming our XG. Man City, er, Man United should feel kind of hard done by. I'll wait to see the end of this highlight just to make sure there's not somebody else I need to take off. Um, but Otasui is on his last highlight if things go well. Uh, things did not go well, so he is on his last highlight. Pombo is looking tired, so let's bring on Darren Dreyer for him. Um, and hope that Sousa doesn't screw us up. <laughs> um, Pavel's also not having a great game. Who do we have that can come on for either of them? Uh, Cortisas is the only one, really, after taking off Otasui. So, Sousa, you're drawing the short end of the stick. I'm going to give you a few more moments, though this is another highlight from this side of the pitch, which is not good. Zan Pavel, let that one go. Perez... Okay, we're just bringing Sousa off before anything else can get messed up. Cortisas is... Uh, Sousa is very much a wingback, and Cortisas is a wingback that can play center back. So hopefully he gives us a little bit more defensively. Sirich tried to get it cleared. Barta tried to get it down, but wasn't able to. And they see that one go over the bar. Barta and Montiel starting to not play well. Um... Come on, guys. Do I drop encouragement? Do I drop praise? Calm down. Focus. What do I do in this situation? I feel like I just leave it alone. They are getting completely FM'd at the moment. Do we drop back or do we keep on the front? Because right now they are FMing us. Or we are FMing them. And yeah, we don't <laughs> we don't let up now. Um, we are now drawing. Let's uh, demand more from the team. Um, attack has really dried up since that opening little bit. Gomez and Boudier are not liking that. Well, if you don't like it, that's fine. Just do something about it. Barta, Pavel, Pavel gets it up. Boudier does bring it down nicely. Doesn't have anyone supporting him. Oh, come on. Come on, ref. That's a pin. Okay, Mr. Duckman, not able to get there. Ends on Pavel, not looking completely sharp. Though he is able to stay on it, gets it up to Angel Gomez. Angel Gomez, big ball over the top, wants Boudier, finds Boudier. Boudier, can he score? No, he can't. Oh, that was our chance. That was our chance. Ball into Sirich. 
straight to the keeper. My goodness, let's just keep it out. Okay, we're not going to we're not going to win this game. But let's just not lose it. Okay. Okay, we've done enough. We haven't done enough, but we we've done enough. Uh, I'm gonna tell them they were unlucky. Um, really, they were lucky to get a draw from this one. Um, yeah, Angel Gomez, quality care, quality character, quality character. <sighs> okay, yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, we are top of the Premier Division, though Man City do have a game. Who are they facing? in the last few games of their season. Brighton and Southampton, 20th and 15th. So we need one of them to pull off the f the f famous bottom of the league with the <laughs> bottom of the league win. But um, yeah, give me just a moment. I'm going to skip forward to our next game and uh, I'll see you in a moment. Well, Millwall didn't give us any uh, breaks, so we are two points behind Man City on the last day of the season. If we win today and they lose, we could win. It's really just an outside chance. We could drop as far as fifth, so we do need to at least secure a draw. Bournemouth did win their last game 1-0, and, uh, well, there's only two changes in the team. Uh, we brought in Di Benedito and Dreyer. Uh, Mark played well, uh, Barta played well, um, and Siric played well, but Di Benedito and Otasui have a better connection than uh Siric and Di Benedito um and Darren Dreyer I mean homegrown assistant uh club captain we just need his his oomph to get us over the finish line today um and Barta you know he's already a super sub so we'll bring him in um so let's tell him the media have been giving them a lot of credit I believe in you, I believe in you, and I believe in you. I did tell the team that there's no pressure on them for this game, which is pretty true. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to next season. We've got in, we've already got a one wonder kid and one four star current ability center back, which I'm sure you guys already saw on the little sneak peek for the transfer special in tomorrow's episode, but you know what, it's fine. Darren Dreyer has the ball. We've got today to play still. Zan Pavel wants to get in across. Can't quite. Is able to end back up with it. Darren Dreyer tries to curl that one in, though it was a little bit too far wide. And it looks like Man United are already up in their game, so that sees us drop to third. Okay. What did I say before? we got to win today. We can't let Man, Man United steal this from us in the end. Let's um, drop some encouragement on the team. Angel Gomez is not playing well. He did get a little bit of a knock in training, but uh, not too terrible. Darren Dreyer has the ball out on the left wing. Probably going to want to put in a pass. No, he's just going to shoot it into the side net. Would have been a fantastic solo strike if it had gone off. Too bad there was like four guys unmarked in the penalty box. Great, three of them were... We're playing for Bournemouth, but in any case. Oh, come on. Ref, you're blind. Get out of here. Get out of here. Need a new ref. This is the guy that's been screwing us all year. And VAR is going to prove that it's not a penalty. Watch. No penalty. Oh, it was outside the box? Oh, imagine that. <clears throat> uh, let's demand more from the team. Pombo's got injured. That's not great. Um, we're going to try to have you out until halftime. Oh, come on, guys. Fine. Get Bolton out on that side. He's not our best option. Oh, dang, I should have brought him Merrick Barta. Move Dryer over there. Gomez is having a poor game. Montiel's having a poor game. Pavel's having a poor game. Let's go to the dressing room. Let's uh, let's tell them I'm not happy with your performance. I'm furious with your defense, furious with the playmaking, and furious with the finishing. Demoted a motivated everybody, but let's see if that can spur them to go make a change. It won't. We're going to lose this game. But uh, Montiel, Pavel are probably needing to come off. Montiel is going to come off now. We're going to switch Mr. Duckman over to be the defensive midfielder. 
will bring Devrich on. Um, and Pavel has picked up his game. Good for him. We may bring Svanberg on for Gomez here soon. Uh, Pavel tried to find Boudier. Couldn't quite. Ball goes back to Otasui. Dreyer gets it up to Pavel. Back to Mr. Duckman. Angel Gomez. Mr. Duckman over the top for Zon Pavel. Zon Pavel puts in a cross. Finds Wolf Bolton. Smacks it into the crossbar. Angel Gomez, you're the one coming off. Uh, Svanberg, you're coming on. Boudiev scores. Thank goodness. Okay, so I do think this sees us, this result sees us move up into second and stay there. Um, yes, I am still taking off Angel Gomez. That does see us move up into second. Man City are 3-1 up over Southampton. So the league is not in it for this season. But hopefully next season with our additions, we will be able to make that jump. I think we're, we've got ourselves a good, good platform. Um, all that it takes is us not to screw up in the Champions League. Because uh, last year, the Europa League kind of, uh, kind of killed us. But um, Darren Dreyer just got hit by that guy who got injured. Um, let's, uh, let's, do we want to focus the team? Let's focus the team. Maybe Perez, yes. Single-minded? Single-minded after the feedback? Uh, Otasui gets that one over to Dreyer. Zan Pavel, big ball over the top. Once Boudiev finds Boudiev, Boudiev hammers it hard. He hit the post. Six minutes of added time. They've gone to a 4-4-2, and they've got a throw in. Darren Dreyer does well to get that one away. Boudiev and Svanberg are kind of complacent in their running. Uh, ball gets forward. Svanberg gets it down to Boudiev. Boudiev threads it through to Svanberg. Svanberg back over to Boudiev. Boudiev into the hands of the keeper. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Devrich, ball in. Atasui, huge head into the ad board. And that is the end of our season. We have finished second. Um, let's go to the dressing room. Tell them that they did what was needed of them. We'll hit continue. Okay, so first season finishing second in the Champions League spots. Two points off the top. I mean, at one point, we looked like we had an outside chance of winning. Uh, Pumbo, Dryer, small injuries. It's fine. Uh, best ever Prem finish. Uh... Yeah, we qualify for the Champions League. We get 38 million pounds to spend over the summer with a 2.4 million pound a week payroll budget. We can bring in another good player on that. We can indeed. Boudiev is wanted by PSG. That's not great to see. Will, will you accept a new contract offer? You won't. Well, that's going to be unfortunate. Let's try skipping forward and see if we can get tomorrow's uh, end of season review. Uh, we received 40 million. Did it? Plead for the supporters. End of season review. End of season review. End of season review. Now? End of season review. All right. New arrivals. Who was this year's new arrivals? Alexander Sirich. I mean, transfer for less than a million pounds. Sirich is going to be fantastic for us going into the future. 28 starts for us. Six assists. He's just going to be fantastic. Angel Gomez also came in on a free from Ajax. Um, 11 assists, 9 goals, including that hat trick. That was a wonderful start. Marek Barta, 6 million pounds. He's going to be a huge one for us. 12 goals off of 14 starts. Mr. Duckman, 80 million from Feyenoord. A little bit of an overpay, but he's going to be a solid player for us for the future. 30 starts, 7 goals, 5 assists. Uh, Cortizas, 5 goals. I mean, he didn't start very many games. Uh, and Markovic came in on a free, played decently well. Only 6 starts, but he was on the bench for most of the season. Um, we challenged for the title this season. Fantastic. We've got a Champions League football. Um, that's great to see. Um, FA Cup. We got to the quarterfinal. That was the minimum expectations. And 
I am convinced that there is nothing past the third round of the Carabao Cup. It just doesn't exist. The teams that get there just all go home. Um, we did beat Fulham 6-2 in the lead-up to the end of the season. Match to remember was our beating of Man City at home. Um, I don't remember this Pombo goal, but it must have been good. Um, here's our revenues. Things have gone off. Boudif, Bolton, Pombo, Gomez, and Mr. Duckman are Jersey Sill. Leaders, team of the season, Perez, Sousa, Siric, Otasui, Pavel, with Di Benedito playing there. That's weird. Oh, Montiel not even getting on the field. Uh, Gomez, Dreyer, Budif, Duckman, Deverich. I mean, I would have put Montiel on that on the team, but that's not too bad. We did get uh, the... Oh, we got Coach of the Year. Wonderful. And Coach of the Month for April. Um, top goal scorer, Pombo, 17 goals. Uh, Angel Gomez, 11 assists. Here's the other things. Any competition awards. Budif was the African Striker of the Year. Barta, Czech Young Player of the Year. Angel Gomez, most assists in a season. That... That rounds it out. This is our highest ever uh, Premier League finish. <laughs> the second was uh, third in 1913. And then fourth. I mean, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, Club Vision. Okay, let's negotiate. Um, where is it? I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not. Fine. I will not. <laughs> Squad dynamics. This is how the dynamics are looking. Dryers, Fanberg, and Boudier are our team leaders. Uh, let's discuss plans for next season. Uh, think we can qualify for Champions Cup. Oh. I mean, it is what it is. That wasn't the best team meeting. Um, here's our team report. Uh, injuries. Training camp. Where do you want to go on training camp? We've got China, USA, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Let's go to the USA. It's been a few seasons since we've been to my home country. Uh, goal of the season did go to Pombo. Congratulations. In the quick track. We did win the coach of the year. Um, and Balsor is pleased. Well, if he's pleased, will he stop suggesting transfers? <laughs> but that is going to do it. I've rambled on far enough. If you enjoyed that episode, please remember to leave a like, drop a comment if you want to name a youth intake player for next year, and subscribe to continue to join us on this journey to the top.